Oh, hey, what's up guys? Captain Zach here. Well, Mary and I are out here. It is an early September morning. So we're getting towards, right down towards the end of the, uh, the coho trolling opportunity. Typically this time of year, the fish are already kind of working their way towards the freshwater or the hatchery that they're headed to. But there are still a few waves of them out here. So um, we've got a couple of reports of a few people picking them up in the last couple of days. And, and just based on previous year's experience, I know that there's still enough out here to, uh, to do some damage on a, uh, on a trolling session. So we're just, just right at about the high tide right now, which is a good time to be trolling. Hoping to get on a little bit of late season trolling action here. Oh, it is an absolutely flat morning out here. So there were five footers yesterday. So yesterday was a really nasty forecast. It definitely kept us off the water, but we're excited about getting out here this morning. Just the complete opposite of yesterday and hopefully the fish will respond. Fish on. Oh, nice hit. Uh, could I have a net please? Yep. Oh, sweet, right off the bat, a nice coho in the box. Next, fish on. Slow this, slow this down just a bit. About 85. It'll, I'll, I'll work them to my side. Feels like a decent fish. Oh, okay. oh check out this nice coho. Probably the biggest of the day so far. Oh, let's get a weight on this guy. It's like about nine and a half pounds. So not a giant, but definitely an awesome fish. Oh, here's on. You're on. Oh, great bite. Just real tight, real tight. Nope. Oh. A little flurry of action there, no doubt. One coho in the boat and another nice bite. Oh, I'm gonna say. Fish on, uh, 20 feet. Ugh. Ah, that's a killer. Nice. Okay, let's see if Mary can seal the deal after I pulled the hook on one. time around. <laughs> Oh, well, I did everything I could to let this one go out of the net, but finally, Mary uh, muscled it back to the boat for the second time. We got another nice coho. Oh, sweet. Mary's hooked up, and I've got a little Shaker King on.
back to back for Mary. <laughs> awesome. Awesome coho. Oh, Mary strikes again. Back to back cohos. Oh, there's a humpback whale right there. Here comes the fluke. Cool. It's a mom and a cat. Nice. Wow. <laughs> That's my kind of hit. Awesome. Oh, it's the way out there. 120. Oh, he's right on top. Oh, okay. Oh, he's jumping all around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now there's a seagull going at it. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, this okay. is something. Get out of there, dude. No. <laughs> I've got a seagull chasing my coho right now. <laughs> okay. We're free and clear. Oh yeah. Oh, he's swimming at me. Yes, he is. Okay, 63. He swam 30 feet right at us. Yeah, we're gonna have to land him on that side if you don't mind. Nope, I don't mind. Uh, so, I'll, you want me to try to bring him in front of your gear? Yeah. Or you can just try pick. You can try picking it up if you want, but. Or just to the right. Yeah, I'll, we'll try to go in front of him. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna get sporty. Hang on tight. Go. Thirty. Acrobatic. Oh, check out this hook set. Really squarely in the mouth, but then the second hook got him right down by the fin. So that's why when it was coming up, it kept planing. So I couldn't get it to my side of the boat. Had to go to Mary's side. We landed it in front of her gear. So it was a little bit of a little bit of a sideshow, but we uh, we ended up getting the coho in the boat. And nobody in the water. Yeah, and nobody in the water. Oh my gosh, hold on tight. Wow. Big waves. Is that from like a cruise ship or something? I mean, this is ridiculous. Possible fish on. Hey, Mary's hooked up. Let's see what she's got. Big ball of bait here as well. Jumper salmon right there. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh well, it's not a monster, but a nice little coho. Uh, it looked like it was on. Uh, oh, Sweet fish on. My hands all slime from that last fish. Mm -hmm. Barely hold on to the reel right now. Uh, slow and steady progress here. It's about a hundred feet out. Oh, he's right on top of the water. Here it comes. Here it comes. Boom! <laughs> yeah! 
Well, that was a little, <laughs> a little different. Oh, that was an awesome fight. Just a total torpedo. It got to the top of the water and then just made a, a beeline right for the net. So Mary did an awesome job of scooping that up just in time. Fish on. That was right as it came up shallower. I hope it's not a halibut. Woo! Oh, just another awesome coho. Now we're starting to stack them. <laughs> Little shaker. Oh, how cool. Oh, that was pretty crazy. There's a lot of humpbacks in the area today. Oh, well, a storm front just moved in. It just started to rain and some waves started cropping up. I think we're probably gonna get about maybe some two or three footers coming our way. I see white caps starting to form. So I think we're gonna call it a day, but this was just an awesome late season uh, trolling session. So some coho showed up. We, uh, we knew there were still a few out here and indeed we were able to put eight of them in the box. So eight, eight coho, including a couple really nice ones, some fun battles there. Uh, some little shakers and actually one little rockfish as well. So a nice little uh, smattering of action and uh, some really awesome fillets that are gonna go really well in that smoker. Good stuff, trolling around Juneau, Alaska. just was picking my rod up to call it a day because it's so choppy and windy and I got a bite. So we're going to have to land it on your side. And I, I can't. You okay? And just stay, maybe stay in because it's windy. I can get it right to the corner so you don't have to, it doesn't have to be heroic. Uh, 73, 63, it's coming in pretty good, 33, it's going to be here soon. Sorry, he was too close. On one more coho for good measure. 